Hello guys, what I've got you today is ranked match between 24th and 35th on two ways. So, let's jump in the deployment stage. Uh, just because he is playing the airborne division, I was really afraid him pushing alpha, so my main goal was just to stop him from holding the alpha and then uh, work my uh, way around him because he has very good air very good helicopters and uh, like a lot of forward deployment but that was not the case so let's jump into the game from the start I got the Apache because as for me that was like a very good decision to stop him from the initial push but it kind of never happened but still uh, yeah here I'm just basically putting some defenses because that would be uh, my next concern because that's like not very obvious uh, part of pushing in but at least it still happens sometime and uh, middle basically got abandoned because I wasn't really very cautious about it because I mean I can uh, anyway go like uh, with his back line and whatever there are just a lot of uh, space for me to push him out so he's getting first fighter and he was getting somewhat of the uh, basically drop around here with supporting it with choppers so let's make it from my point of view I'm getting my own fighter and that would be the F-16, F-15, I'm sorry, Eagle actually not a good plane because I mean it doesn't really have a lot of uh, long-range missiles and cost too much for that stuff. Eventually I take out his MiG-29, but I see that there's some helicopters. I have no idea how many of them, because I lost line of sight at that point. So I'm stopping my engineer dragons, waiting for pivots, and just waiting for his moves around here. Yeah. Uh, I'm holding back the Apache because uh, um, <clears throat> I'm really afraid of his air because these Apaches are great uh, for stopping pushes but not really for making them. So here I'm getting another fighter. That was actually the main idea uh, of playing this uh, deck because it has like tons of different fighters and it's really fun part of it because I mean you can always overwhelm any air that your opponent might get. Here I'm trying to take out the Akula, actually getting one sidewinder on it, but you know, eventually it got shut down. <laughs> Not the best way to do. But here, when I see that there is just no push here, I decided to make my own push. I hear I have some engineer flashes, 84s, uh, pivots, and a Bradley. Here I'm just leaving some recon. Uh, just the National Guard scouts and taking uh, the helicopter a bit further. My idea was to rush this command to this point and then to the back line just because I don't really see him pushing anywhere because I don't see push here. I saw somewhat uh, push around there and basically nothing came to me over uh, the alpha. So yeah. What I decided is that I won't rush the command Charlie, the metal point, and I would just move it around and just get to the his back zone, the Foxtrot. Here I'm eventually trying to take his uh, air away from him because uh, I'm really relying on the Strike Eagles because 35th is a very good deck but it doesn't really have a lot of uh, anti-air like the on the ground ones. He's starting to bring some stuff around here. I see his command, but in the end, my idea was just to take this spot. Uh, but eventually, the main push uh, should be all the way around there. And I was really concerned about him doing some uh, moves like uh, drops over here and behind my lines and all that stuff. So I wasn't like really scared of that stuff because I basically as far as you can see there is just almost no units like 
no push around. I don't really see any of his units, so I'm really concerned where are they. Here are the MiG-23s, he's trying to take out my Apache. And he actually didn't succeed in the first run because <laughs> he just lost a lot of uh, the uh, rockets of his MiG-23s. Yeah, and here I lose my pivots, which is really scary for me because now he can uh, get a lot of uh, air here. So I'm just trying to get as fast as possible new anti air. <laughs> Losing the Apache. Eventually, I will lose it as far as I remember. I'm trying to rush the command and I'm just getting killed the second before it gets to the zone so it would uncap it. And I see that somewhat is around here. So I'm getting one more plane, just to contest uh, the air for the whole time, because I don't really have a lot of stuff to push in. He has very good infantry and I need like artillery or tanks or bombers to uh, get the point for me. So I'm getting the strike eagle for the Spetsnaz and actually getting blown away, which is a great plane. I'm going for the second bombing run because I don't see any of his fighters around. And this is eventually me taking the um, Charlie. I'm still getting as more fighters as I can because uh, first of all I had like different uh, ideas to approach this battle and it was as, uh, just as I said it was or I'm getting tanks, or I'm getting bombers, or I'm getting uh, the artillery. But I don't see any of his units, so not like the smartest idea to get artillery when you have no idea where to fire it. Actually, he takes down his MiG-29 over here. So, when I'm having a lot of fighters in the air, I can uh, get rid of his fighters and his helicopters. So I'm taking like one of the most efficient uh, units that he has. Here was like <laughs> not the fun part where I actually as far as they see I lost it or not I'm not even sure about that even now because uh, yeah so the main goal was to take the air and uh, force him for the fight somewhere where I'm actually was really um, feeling good about here. Yeah, it's kind of like the infantry fighting place because like a small forests, like a huge part forest here, hills and all that stuff, but eventually he's like very cut off in his approachments because he can go or this way or try to contest the zone over here. That's not like a va uh, like valid option around here, but that was the main goal because while I'm sitting here, he cannot actually like reinforce uh, get reinforcements around here only by this route, but it take much uh, longer time. And um, I'm not sure if like when you uh, at this map when you uh, get new units to the Charlie from his perspective. As far as I remember, they would go from this side because this is like the longer route, and the AI would uh, immediately deploy them here. You can actually manage it to deploy like around here, so it would go this way, and then you manually uh, reroute them around there. But yeah, that was like the main idea, just to stop him from getting reinforcements to the Charlie, and then I would have like chance to push him out of the zone. I'm trying to get like some units around, and getting uh, new engineer squads, some scouts. And I'm actually still very concerned about this point because I don't really have a lot here. I have like the couple of scout teams, one chaparral. So yeah. Um. Now what I was thinking about is actually I don't really see any of his units for a very long time of the game. I see the meta squad around here, some choppers. And I'm very concerned where are his units. Here I'm losing Bradley because I wasn't sure uh, if there is anything. I was really scared of another Spatsnaz around there. So I'm getting again a Strike Eagle. I was looking for the Meta Squad, but 
now I see a huge blob of his units around there, so I'm actually looking for a good hit, especially on his tanks. And uh, I'm still contesting the air with the Phantoms, because it's actually a great plane. It has five pretty long-range rockets. Let me catch you. That. I cannot catch him. Yeah, now I can. It's actually a great plane. It's much more capable of fighting than F-15s and F-16s, because, I mean, it's cheap as F-16, uh, but it's as good as F-15 uh, because of the amount of the rockets it gets. I'm getting one more Strike Eagle for that, and I'm starting to move uh, to the his side of the Charlie, and still uh, messing him around uh, with his deployment and with his units he's trying to get here. That was kind of a smart move to take choppers around here, but I mean, the point, uh, when you lose the air, it's not a good move. Actually, that would be much better of him just to rush some uh, Heliborn infantry and helicopters somewhere around there and just try to stop me from utilizing this stuff or just to use uh, ground forces instead, but he was very uh, was believing that he, he can take out the air. It's actually not really often when you can see the um, A24 and his airborne division, you're, you're pretty sure that you're getting the best air in the game, but not really because this uh, division you can take a very, very huge amount of fighters. And actually has not the best bombers in the game, but at least kinda nice bombers. And that what happens because uh, the moment that he lost air, I can utilize the F-15 Strike Eagles as much as I want, so I can take out his tank, his BMDs, and all that stuff. And I'm already getting the command round here. He still has some fighters, but this is exactly why I'm. Uh, saving the eagles around just to take uh, out any of his air, uh, what he would try to use to take uh, the strike eagles. Yeah, and basically he just stands at this point, he's trying to get into, bring the conquerors to cut off this route, but it's not really a good point, and eventually I'm getting in just using the uh, Vulcan gun on the, uh, like, <laughs> direct strike from the uh, fighter to the ground and he still brings some stuff and at this point I see that this actually is scratched so he's getting a huge amount of stuff he gains some in tier but the problem is that scratches are not that good because they're not really long range and uh, at this point that was a good move but again like uh, he should have uh, rushed around here I was still very concerned, does he actually have this some stuff around here or not? Because I wasn't really paying attention to the map and I never saw any of his units uh, from the, uh, you know, like the start of the game, uh, from the deployment phase, that he actually uh, got or not. And uh, I was pretty sure that here's like some stuff and he just cannot get a commander because he's using all the points just to try and uh, take him back at this point. So I'm moving the like couple infantry squads to the forest just to make sure that there is nothing around. Yeah, and here I see like a huge blob around there. And I'm pretty sure that I would need to use the F-15 just to strike at least some infantry squads to strike any of the units that he might get over there because I don't really have a lot of stuff to stop it because uh, my helicopters would be countered by the uh, man pads and scratchets. I don't have like tanks to counter them. And yeah, I was pretty scared of that push, so I was using the strike giggles as much as I could just to stop him from using his uh, small resupply route, which mine is like basically from the whole map. I'm getting one more strike giggle for that stuff. Actually, a great looking plane. Too bad you just get one per card. And basically, he getting in the situation where he's just being bombed and uh, 
ETGMs flying around and helicopters and all that stuff and he just cannot get to, to the point. Again, I was pretty sure that there should be some more stuff, you know, just uh, I was overthinking the game and <laughs> that wasn't the best part of it because I could have actually got to Delta. Let's have a look at neutral mode. He basically doesn't really have a lot of stuff around here. He almost has nothing around here. He completely forgot about his helicopters and yeah, I could have actually got to his, this back zone or maybe even here. Yeah, but I wasn't sure about if he actually has some stuff or not. So the fight continued on around this place. And actually, this Bradley is just the National Guard one. It actually doesn't have the stats, it's like the 48%. And here should be the great uh, point of this stuff. So we have Bradley versus BMD1 two Bradleys actually, but they just cannot hit it, <laughs> not with the auto cannons, uh, not using the toes, and basically the BMD-1, like the very old stuff, it has a freaking cannon on it, just took out a Bradley in two shots, yeah, <laughs> that wasn't really fun part. He gets the commander here eventually, but not the smartest move again, because he can't really stop me from pushing into there, because, I mean, he just doesn't really have any, at least, medis squad. I have the full map control. Here I'm already trying to get to his back line. I see his tank around here, so I'm just poking around just to find where are those units that I was very afraid of from the start of the game. I'm taking the strike giggle again. Eventually losing his line of sight and just rerouting it to some uh, his uh, exceptional optic recon. Which is always nice to take out because he has just not a lot of of them per card and in the deck overall. And I'm pushing the National Guard scouts to this uh, uh, building just to spot his tank that I've seen before. And I'm still keeping the strike eagle around just to uh, take it out, maybe push in. I see his uh, MI9, the command chopper, not the best command unit in the game because I mean it's very vulnerable and it's very easy to see when it lands yeah here you spot his T-64B eventually was in line of sight again but uh, the scouts were fast enough to get in there so another bomb drops and another tank goes out here he brings the K-50 pretty scary helicopter in my opinion, it's much better than in-game Apache because he has much faster rockets and yeah, has pretty high CM. Not really, but yeah. Here I'm losing the uh, F-15, and I don't really know what to do with this Akula because I'm just getting the pivots, but he's much uh, has. His rockets are like very long range and very very accurate, so I'm just getting another plane just to try to find the way to fight him, but yep, in this moment the game basically ends and we would never know if that eagle actually survived or not. So yeah, that was my opponent, the 256 in the ladder, pretty decent uh, kill count, so Strike Eagles was doing like <laughs> Lord's work. So yeah, that was the game. Thanks for watching.